Maria Eagle. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. We have the worst recession of any major economy. The virus is still not under control, and many thousands of my constituents in Liverpool and Knowsley have lost jobs, have lost income, are facing wage freezes, whilst those on universal credit are about to lose the £1,000 uplift that's been keeping the wolf from the door. The self-employed are excluded from any help at all, and many are now wondering how they're going to feed their children. Indeed, many people have already been relying in increasing numbers on food banks. Now is not the time for the government to force councils to hit these people with a 5% council tax hike in order to balance budgets. Madam Deputy Speaker, this will hit the poorest hardest. Liverpool has had to make cuts of over £420 million in the last nine years, as it's lost 63% of its government grant. Knowsley has lost over 50% of its grant and has had to make over £100 million in cuts. These are two of the council's worst hit by Lib Dem and Tory cuts since 2010. If Liverpool had faced a cut at the average level over these years, it would have still had an extra £123 million to enable it to avoid increasing council tax. Over three quarters of housing stock in Liverpool is council tax bans A and B, so it raises less money, only £1.5 million for every pound, every 1% increase. So the poorest areas are hit hardest. Madam Deputy Speaker, when the government mandate council tax increases as the main way of increasing the income of councils, the government has increasingly done this and it, it hits poorer people harder and poorest areas hardest. Madam Deputy Speaker, those being expected to meet this extra financial burden, like the council taxpayers in Liverpool and those are the least able to do so. A quarter of all UK households went into the COVID crisis with less than £100 in the bank, 3.6 million people nationally trapped in insecure work. Their finances aren't resilient. In Liverpool, council tax support is provided to about a third of all council tax payers, costing £30 million a year, yet one in four of them receiving this help are actually in work. So telling the council that it's got to hit these people hard again is not a fair way of doing things. Many councils will have to consider making major cuts to their services next year, those exact same services everybody will be depending on to help recovery. The jobs lost will be those very same people who've worked so hard and put their own lives at risk to deliver key public services during the ravages of COVID. Madam Deputy Speaker, the government must provide a solution to local government finance that will take into account the already entrenched disadvantage in constituencies like mine and seek to address it rather than just assume that those with the least can pay the most and attack Labour councils for spending more. They can't raise more money from council tax very easily because they have low band number of properties and people just can't afford to pay. It won't work. It's a recipe for further poverty. They've got to change their view.